Hello and welcome to another UMake tutorial. My name is Nico and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to create some speakers or speaker components. So you can see here I have a little uh, speaker system or sound system that I created and let's look at what went into this. This was actually really quite simple to create, believe it or not, but the results look really good and I kind of want to teach you how you can do something similar to this with just a few steps. So let's jump right into it. If I come over here to my views panel and I go to the general and I hide the surfaces, you're going to see that there's really not that much to this design. There's a couple curves, but essentially this entire thing is made up of no more than about 10 curves actually. And when you look at the end result, it looks a little bit more complex than that. So to do this, let's start all over again but I kind of want to focus on the speaker, the speaker cone to start with. And when you look at the speaker cone, it's essentially just three curves, the outer shell, the actual speaker cone, and then the inner element. All right, I'm gonna to go to the layers and I'm gonna create a new layer to start my work. And I'm gonna hide the first one. Go over to the side view to start off here and let's do the speaker. So to do the speaker cone, I'm just going to draw a curve like this. Now on the speaker cone, normally you'll have like some little ripples near the center or potentially kind of close to the outside as well, depending on whether it's a tweeter or subwoofer or a mid-range speaker. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just gonna try and do something that looks kind of like a, a, a nice speaker. So I'm going to move this curve down to right around the center. I'm going to start editing it. And this is where you basically need to just add a bunch of control points when you're editing, because in order to make the ripples, you'll see that it takes kind of several control points to do that. And I'm just adding them just to have them now. All right, so if this is the center of the cone, we're going to kind of have that and then just move these down and I'm just going to start moving the points so that I get something like this. And you can see that it takes about four to six points per little ripple. So even if you add a lot on a curve, you'll, you'll see that they kind of, they compact down really well <laughs> in a way. So that we, now we have two, and let's do kind of one more big one. There we go. So that is our, uh, what will be the kind of inside or the speaker cone, the, the, the black part on most speakers that you look at. And that's just the, the, the first curve. The second curve, let's make kind of a small little arc just for the center element. There we go. I just drew that one. Probably just going to make sure that it's somewhat perpendicular to this, uh, this axis here. You'll see the reason in a little bit why I want that. Move that over just a tad bit. And then let's do the outside of the speaker. So I'm gonna draw a curve like this. And this shape can be pretty much whatever you want. So depending on how you want the outside to look, or what you want it to look like, you can do this shape however you want. So maybe I'll do something like that for now. And I'm actually gonna pull it past here a little bit and kind of add a little hook to it. The reason for that is since this is a housing, you kind of want to create something that looks like this part, the cone is gonna be held in. What we're drawing here are called profile curves. So profile curve is essentially, it's the profile, it's the main profile. And when you do a revolved surface or something, you're going to use the profile curve to create that surface. There we go. So if I orbit around in 3D space, this doesn't look like very much. It doesn't look very complicated, 
and it's actually kind of boring. However, if we select each of these curves and we do a revolve on them like this, I'm just going to drag this axis down so I have these handles when I tap the revolve tool. Things get really interesting pretty quickly. There's our one speaker cone. Now we can come in and select this one, do the same thing, tap revolve, drag this axis down again, and if we move, you'll see we have this little arc in the middle. And lastly, we'll do the same thing for this, although this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to tap uh, revolve, and you'll notice that I have to actually move this axis down. So to do that, to kind of shimmy it into place, just move. The best way to do it is to move this handle down and center it over one of these grid points to the best of your ability. And then it'll snap into place. And just like that, we have a speaker. I'm going to make this outside part white. And this inside element. Let's give it a cool color, something like yellow or something like that. So there is our speaker. And what's really cool about the Revolve Surface tool is whatever you do once you've made the revolution, once you've made the surface, whatever you do to the profile curve, if you want to edit it, for example, those edits are automatically reflected. So if we want to actually move, for example, a few of these points to another location, if we move these up like that, you'll notice that the shape is a little bit different. Things, things change. So you don't have to get your profile curves perfect every single time. Now that we have these, this speaker, we can do something kind of fun with it. We can actually duplicate it. I'm going to move this up. like this, and then I'm going to duplicate it using the duplicate function, which is found right next to the bounding box in this little yellow circle. Tap here, tap duplicate, I'm going to move another one up. Now I have a duplicate of it. And I'm just going to actually shrink this, just scale it down just a tad bit. And now we have those two little speakers. Now this one I can come in again, and I should be able to change the profile curve. So if I want something a little bit different, since it's a different speaker now, it's like a mid-range speaker, you can see that that one looks different than the one below. So a really easy way of just creating one object, duplicating it, and then using the history function, uh, the, the history of the revolved surface, to make kind of something a little bit different. I'm going to line these two up. And now we are ready to go into the next step and kind of create some cool housing around them. So that is essentially one way that you can create some pretty simple but nice looking speaker cones. I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting for you. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, feel free to let us know on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages. And we can't wait to see what kind of loud speaker systems you create and you make. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.